Sasa ni rasmi kuwa wakenya wanaofanya kazi wakati huu wataondoka kazini kufikia saa kumi ya siri ili kutoa nafasi ya kutekelezwa kwa agizo la kutotoka nje wakati wa usiku. Agizo hili la serikali linajiri wakati ambapo Rais Kenyatta amewaomba wakenya msamaha kwa hatua ya polisi kutumia nguvu kupindukia wakati wa kutekelezwa kwa agizo hilo. Ni rasmi sasa kuwa wafanyikazi wasiokuwa na taaluma zilizoorodheshwa kama huduma muhimu watafunga kazi saa kumi ya siri. Katika amri iliyochapishwa kwenye gazeti rasmi la serikali, waziri wa masuala ya ndani Daktari Fred Matiangi ameamrisha waajiri kuhakikisha wafanyikazi wao wanatii amri ya kutotoka nje kwa kuwaruhusu kuondoka kazini saa kumi ya siri katika muda huu ambapo amri hiyo inatekelezwa. Haya yanajiri wakati ya ambapo visa hivi ya wakenya kutandikwa vilisheheni siku ya kwanza ya utekelezwaji wa amri ya kutotoka nje visa ambavyo viliwaudhi baadhi ya wakenya na watetezi wa haki za binadamu na sasa vinaonekana havikumpita rais uhuru kenyata maybe in the initial stages there were some challenges and i want to apologize to all kenyans maybe for some excesses that were conducted or happened Vurugu iliyoshuhudiwa likoni Ijumaa hiyo na mabadiliko yaliyoko sasa yakimfurahisha rais ambaye anasisitiza ushirikiano katika vita dhidi ya virusi vya corona utaleta ushindi. I want to thank those in Mombasa who are now orderly crossing the ferry. I want to thank all those who are ensuring that they maintain their work schedules while allowing our Kenyans to leave work on time in order for them to make the curfew kulingana na rais Kenyatta mikakati hii ni ya sasa lakini maji yakizidi unga we as a government are preparing for the worst but together with 47 million Kenyans are hoping and praying that we do not need to take further measures Mashirima Kapome Runinga Citizen